They've got missile lock. Evasive maneuvers. The FGM-148 Javelin. If you have followed the invasion of Ukraine, you've likely heard of this anti-tank weapon. If not, you may have seen it pop up in a few action movies. The Javelin is an important anti-tank weapon for many modern armies, used by over a dozen nations. It's been in service since 1996, used in Iraq, Syria, Afghanistan, and most recently Ukraine. To date, the Javelin remains one of the most effective anti-tank systems available to modern armies. The system is both advanced and simple to use, primarily because it's a fire-and-forget missile, meaning that the missile has a self-guidance system. A user of a Javelin simply has to acquire a lock with the Advanced Imaging Infrared Seeker and then fire the missile, allowing them to immediately retreat or maneuver to attack again. This is opposed to many other systems that need to guide a missile with either a wire or laser lock that needs to be maintained while the missile is in flight. The Javelin missiles do come with a cost, however. You just shot a Javelin at a f***ing car! That's an $80,000 piece of ordnance! In addition to the missiles, the command unit itself costs another $125,000. Not something you'd simply want to dump once you're done firing your missile. Still, when you consider the Javelin system is highly capable of taking out modern armor, with even a Russian T-72 in many cases, costing well over a million dollars depending on how it's outfitted, the Javelin system is a deal. These systems are generally operated by two-man crews, but even a single man with only a few days of training is capable of knocking out tanks or even low-flying helicopters, all while using the terrain or city environments as cover. The standard training for the proficient use of the weapon by professional soldiers is two weeks, consisting of not just familiarity with the javelin system, but tactics involved in its use and how to clearly identify targets using the command launch unit. The training of a tank crew is complex, but for a javelin team, the soldier only needs to lock a target using the command launch unit and then fire the missile. Small teams using such weapons like the javelin make for hard targets to identify, versus large convoys of tanks with significant heat signatures. Early javelin systems had a decent range of 2.5 kilometers or 1.6 miles, but with recent improvements, a javelin is capable of destroying a target up to an effective range of 4 kilometers or 2.5 miles, though they have been successful at even greater ranges. Much of the success of the javelin is attributed to the flight path the javelin missile takes. The missile can fire in both a direct attack flight path, or what is most effective, a top attack flight path, where the missile climbs after launch to approximately 150 meters, then dives down on top of its target. This is known as a curveball. Tank armor has predominantly in both the past and present been weakest at the very top, which is precisely where the Javelin missile strikes. Though the missile's penetration is considered average at 750 mm, it has a sophisticated tandem-shaped charge heat warhead. A tandem charge helps missiles circumvent modern explosive reactive armor. Usually this armor takes the shape of bricks or plates on the exterior of tanks and armored personnel carriers. This armor is designed to explode when struck, disrupting the energy and angle of an attack, minimizing any damage done to armor underneath. However, a tandem-shaped charge heat warhead, like what is used in the Javelin system, is designed to detonate this explosive reactive armor, followed by a second detonation designed to force a particle jet through the tank, disabling it and its crew. In the direct fire role, the javelin can be used to attack structures, such as bunkers or even low-flying helicopters. Upgraded command launch units are said to even be able to establish locks on drones or unmanned aerial vehicles. The javelin is a proven system. Significantly, it was effective during the Iraq War against older Soviet tanks, 
which proved its reliability. In Afghanistan, its spotting and targeting system was used to detect insurgent teams armed with RPGs or other heavy weapons, and occasionally trucks or motorcycles. A multi-purpose warhead was developed for use with the Javelin system to be used against soft targets. This warhead is twice as effective against personnel due to its fragmentation. The targeting system can be used independently of the Javelin as a spotting device, with the system offering up to 12 times magnification using thermal imaging. A feature that stands out on the Javelin is the soft launch mechanism. Rather than the flight motor engaging while in the launcher, a separate launch motor using conventional rocket propellant ejects the missile. You can see the missile almost hang in the air for a disconcerting split second. Then the flight motor engages once the missile is at a safe distance from the operator. This two-stage launching greatly reduces the backblast experienced by most rocket launchers and also gives the weapon a minimal recoil. There is no need to panic should the missile fail to arm the flight motor. The warhead cannot detonate without a series of missile condition checks, including a target lock check. The missile can fail to arm the flight motor should it not reach a key acceleration point, indicating that it is safely at a distance from the operator. These fail clips as shown are based on this safety feature. Oh, the advantages of the Javelin are many. Easy to assemble, transport, good range, reliable, a fire and forget system. The shape tandem warhead is deadly to virtually all modern tanks. The soft launch system allows for a small backblast, making the weapon safer to use inside structures and urban environments. The missile, tube and command launch unit together weigh almost 50 pounds or 22.3 kilograms, so it's mildly bulky. The thermal imaging is good, but uses a refrigeration component required to cool the system before use, which can take some time depending on the ambient temperature. Expense is another issue with the system, but if it can be given to a nation defending against expensive tanks, it's arguably a bargain. Weapon systems such as the Javelin, and others like the N-Law, will likely play a larger role in modern combat. <laughs>